I'm cooking y'all we here getting it in and just for what it's worth thank y'all for still rocking with me so we're gonna go from basketball and Angela Reese gonna talk about Ryan Garcia and the low life piece of trash scumbag he really is he's filled another drug test shocker now this comes from Mark Julio at the athletic and it's also a piece out of the Daily Mail which I had spliced together and looking at this so he had his win overturned, and he's actually been confessed. He has confessed himself. So there's no setup. There's no nothing. When him and his lawyers went before the New York State Athletic Commission, he confessed, and they negotiated his suspension. Yes, that is what's happened. Now, again, I don't like talking boxing, so I'm not going to sit up here and pretend like, oh, you want to go ahead and talk boxing now? No, it's too many boxing channels for that. Also, I only rock with certain boxing channels like um, the LDBC. I'm not going to run down everybody in the LDBC. However, it's been noted and documented, so let's just move on. He also forfeited his winning purse of over a million dollars to Golden Boy Promotions, which that is weird to me because why would you cost yourself a million dollars? Again, I don't know the scumbag, you know, I don't know Ostering Garcia's. Uh, <laughs> Austerine. I don't know his financial state, but I know turning down a million dollars or giving back a million dollars just isn't in anybody's smart financial plans. He also has a fine by the New York State Athletic Commission of 10K. The New York State Pro License has been also suspended until April of 2025. You know, after the news broke on Osterine Garcia, he called he called Devin Haney the victim a crybaby. How is this possible? How is any of this possible? It's sad to see that so many guys are envious of Bill and Devin Haney, even when it's a clear, obvious, a clear, obvious reason this dude cheated. And now you're looking at this guy as some sort of hero. A confessed drug cheat. Overwhelming evidence against him and everything that he's got going on. Now, spare me with the mental health. Nothing is wrong with him. Mental health is a, cu a cushion and a crutch that people use when they want to escape criticism. He's not meant nothing's wrong with him at all. The only thing wrong with him is that he's ignorant and his parents taught him to be less than a man. His parents, they never put any kind of discipline on this kid whatsoever. And now you're seeing a young man go off the rails. If this is your profession, this is how you make money, this is how you feed your family and pay your bills, why would you take a shortcut like that? Why? Why would you take a shortcut like that? Walking around during the whole presser, smoking weed, being unprofessional, trying to go ahead and kill the promotion. You did everything you could think of to get out of that fight. But then when you saw that that wasn't going to work, alas, you wanted to go ahead and cheat. This is this is what you guys have condoned. Not everybody. I'm talking about the people out there who have not who haven't been honest from the get-go about Austin Garcia and I think it's about time the black people stand on business when it comes to dealing with this piece of trash him and his family and the deep-seated racism piece of filth that they are and we'll get more into that when we come back from a quick 20 from an unofficial sponsor of the show this is Big Vern at App Stupid Drop it, Spot. <laughs> Yes, 
Chris McDonald's. Ba da ba ba ba. I'm loving it. Download the app, order online, or visit the good folks at your local McDonald's. McDonald's. I'm loving it. Okay, so when we jump back into Oscar and Garcia, he is more delusional in this article when he says he'll likely, well, he he says that he hit all the belts. When? When? He's never been unified at any division, ever. He's fought a string of nobodies. He's fought a string of nobodies. Tank Davis was his first step-up fight. And he quit. He curred out once he got hit in the body. Because it seems like he wanted to get up and fight back. But then he saw Tank was closing in for the knockout. Then he sat down. That's what he did. He's a quitter. Now he's a drug cheat. Not to mention how he did his wife. You can't stand 10 toes down for this piece of garbage. Ever. Ever, and I know most of y'all want to reserve your criticism for black people and black people only, but had Ryan Garcia been Ryan Johnson, then pretty much the internet would be dragging him left and right, and we know it. Taco Hat wouldn't have been able to go ahead and get away with this. Sunglasses wouldn't be able to get away with this. <laughs> Witness relocation sunglasses wouldn't be able to get away with this. Look, I ain't got no problem with none of these guys. I don't, I mean, like I say, it is what it is. I ain't got no problem with none of these dudes. But, you know, you won't take it there. It's up, as the young people would say. Because I know none of that gonna happen. But let's keep continuing on Austin Garcia. He says he'll be back in a year. That's highly unlikely. He'll probably be gone somewhere, drunk, drugged out, broke losing so much money from gambling because he is a degenerate gambler and people like that they take drugs they do they do look at him again claims he had all the belts we don't know what what he's talking about he's never had all of the belts he's only had tokens and i wouldn't even say secondary belts in the wbc no he won a title eliminator and then eliminated himself from fighting Devin Haney at 130 pounds. Stop me when I'm well, stop me when I'm lying. Everything I'm saying right now is truthful. The only reason I'm covering this is because I'm forced to. That's the only reason I'm covering this is because I'm forced to. Oh my goodness. He left his wife after he put two babies on that woman. Yep. And see, Devin Haney, you lucky. Devin Haney is not a guy who's petty. Because me, I'd have got petty. Yeah, oh, I'd have got petty. I'd have went to see your ex-wife. I put my arms around your ex-wife. I'm going to take pictures with your ex-wife. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm going to ask to hold your little girl. And I'm going to take a picture of me your little girl hunting my arms. Oh, man. I'm going to have you so hot and bothered. You're probably going to smoke more dope. Get out more ostering, go punching walls and stuff, loser. But how can you respect this? Only dummies, morons, and dishonest individuals love this, this ridiculous behavior. Because a lot of people know they or they don't know that he had to confess to the New York State Athletic Commission that he didn't take. Ostering. He confessed to it. And then he gets on social media. Brah, brah, brah. That's why I'm not on social media. Because you got a lot of keyboard warriors. You got a lot of keyboard warriors. And if I was, like I said, if I'm out there and I'm in your city and I'm walking around unbothered because I don't have an entourage, I'm probably sitting at a bookstore or something, reading a book and having a cup of coffee. I don't even really rock with coffee like that probably having a chai reading a book you want you know what i'm saying if you find me you found me that's it you know i don't really walk around i don't take pictures or nothing like that but it is what it is that's all i'm saying this dude man i'd have been all of me you lucky dev devin is a man of high character a devout religious man 
I am not. Oh my goodness, it'd have been all kind of sex tapes out there, dragging her. Oh yeah, uh uh uh. Then don't let the bird wake up in the morning, be laying on my chest. You know I'ma unlock the phone and send and send the picture to to you from her phone. <laughs> oh, man, dangerous. Andrea Selena. She man. That's <laughs> his that's his ex-wife. Isn't that his ex-wife? You know, and uh, Andrea Selena called Devin and dish the tea. Hey, you call him and dish the tea. Ain't nothing look, ain't nothing sacred. You know you don't went around and slept around on you with a porn star. Burn it down. Yeah, see, hit him where it hurts. That's how we playing. That's how we rock it. He's 25, 26. I don't know. Don't care. Yeah. And then in the Daily Mail, they got married in January of 25. And by Christmas, they were separated. So he can't even be a man of his own word and his vows up until Christmas. Come on, man. Then he agreed to pay child support and spousal support for the kids. Come on. Why in the world is a grown man? Why would you legally have to put that in there? I know I got kids. Kids eat every day. But you you had that put in to the divorce decree that you're going to pay child support. Come on, man. Again. I don't know this. I don't know who could follow this guy at this point. He's gone for a year. Good riddance. I don't know if him saying that he's going to be back in a year. I don't know if De La Hoya even wants him back because you can't make money with Ryan, and he has to drug test all throughout his suspension to prove that he's a clean boxer. And if I'm his opponent, I don't want any. I want all the stringent testing, and I want the results before the fight. I don't want things to come back after the fight. I want them before the fight. But you got a lot of broke boxes that'll go ahead and take the payday. And it's not worth it. It's not worth it. He's not worth it. Move on with your life. But yeah, for this degenerate gambler, drug addict, what is it, serial, <laughs> serial fornicator, Failed marriage man, Austrian Garcia, and sit his ass down. Yo, we back. We just, like I said, it's a lot of show. We're going to keep on rocking. This is Big Fire.